farming with nature is the solution rather than against it. It's really exciting and inspiring to see that that's true. To having done this for 23 years, to see that farming to preserve wildlife and tap into their very resilient system is just a stronger, more sustainable solution than relying on chemicals. Many years ago, we set up a bunch of barn owl boxes throughout the vineyard, and they were immediately occupied with barn owls. So they fly around the vineyard at night patrolling to get rid of rodent pests that we don't want. We estimate that a single pair and their young can consume upwards of 200 pounds of rodents in a single year, and this would equate to over 3,000 individual rodents. I didn't know how close the barn owls would nest to each other and tolerate other pairs. We've seen a single alfalfa field lined with six active nest boxes at a single time, and some of these boxes were only about 100 meters apart from each other. If you build it, they will come. We also have bluebird boxes that are all occupied with, with bluebirds or some type of birds. We also plant lots of flowering plants. Behind me, you can see our insectary garden, but also we plant cover crop in the vineyards. Some of them are specifically designed to attract beneficial insects. Those insects feed on vineyard pests, but they're also a food source for birds. So it kind of creates this system where there's always something available for the things we want to keep around. When farmers support birds with natural habitat, nest boxes, and raptor perches, they really get a 24-hour period uh, coverage of natural pest control. So there's species that make up the day shift, like hawks, eagles, falcons, and insectivorous birds, and other species that make up the night shift, which includes several species of owls, and in some areas, even night hawks. One way to start would be to plant hedgerows. Wherever you have wasted or dead space, like right along your fence line, if you can plant a hedgerow, you're creating this great habitat and it creates this corridor where wildlife can move from one plant to the next unimpeded, then you're creating this system within your land, within your vineyard. It's really important for us to understand that we're all connected. We're connected to each other, we're connected to the foods we eat, the things that eat the things that, that we eat, we're all connected. When hawks and owls hunt in areas where rodenticides are applied, they're at risk for secondary poisoning if they consume these poison rodents. Our research has shown that even when rodenticides are only used around buildings like facilities or offices, these compounds still showed up in the blood of about 35% of the hawks we sampled, with juvenile hawks being the most vulnerable. We might have some pests that we don't want. As long as there's a balance, then it's going to work out and we're not going to have any type of catastrophic loss. Good barn owl nest boxes should be designed to properly protect owls from predators, heat stress, and allow for easy cleaning. They should be placed on poles with the openings facing east, and they should be placed away from roads or high traffic areas, and they should be placed away from wooded areas where great horned owls might be present. The whole ranch is 340 acres, and we only have 55 acres planted in vineyards. So the rest is this wild land that acts as an alternate food source for beneficial insects and birds, and it just creates more habitat for them and creates this more resilient ecosystem. I'm inspired to go to work every day. I get up happy. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's just birds chirping and there's wildlife all around me. My hope is that we can learn how to maintain or increase biodiversity in these working landscapes. That's my hope. <laughs>